Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Chrissy Chella here. And in today's YouTube video, I thought we'd do a little bit of a sit down. We haven't done one of these in a really, really long time. And I always like to do one of these videos at least once a year, just because my knowledge changes, my perception of fitness changes. And I think the content that I used to produce, let's say 10 years ago to what it is now, is not the same. And my beliefs have changed over time. And that's the beauty about growing. Sometimes when you're online and you are a public figure, you don't feel like you can make certain changes because people are like, well, you said this three years ago. And it's like, babe, I'm, the, I'm a completely different person. Like still the same core values, but you evolve and you change and you learn and you become a student. And that's why this YouTube channel is so important for me to share as much of my knowledge that I learn from other people and other aspects of my life with you so hopefully one day you can benefit from it or you know you just feel less alone and you know that we're on this journey of growth together so for this youtube video i thought i would go through five things i truly believe every single gym girl should know these five things are things that i wish i knew these five things are things that maybe you're not expecting maybe you do but fundamentally if you are someone that is about to enter the gym have been in the gym, these tips are gonna be valuable to you. Tip number one, having a program. I know it's not that different, I know you've probably heard it before, but are you actually doing it? Let me explain why this is so important. For such a long time, I was going into the gym and I was doing random workouts and I was trialing random workouts, especially because part of my job and what I do is to build programs for the Evolve You app. That's why I have all of my training programs and that's why I have all of my information about how you can evolve in your training. So for me, one of my jobs is to trial a lot of things, exercises, new routines. But what I was finding was because I was trialing all these routines, I also was not progressing within myself because it wasn't consistent and it wasn't concise. So whilst it was benefiting everyone else, it wasn't really benefiting myself. It wasn't until I stuck to a program, to a structure, that is when I saw the most growth. I mean, look at this picture to this picture. These are my glute gains here, and this is pretty much now. It is absolutely incredible. That has been done naturally. That has been done across a period of time years, not weeks, years. And I wanna put that in there because if any program promises you insane results in four weeks, six weeks, I would have big red flags. You can see some results in let's say eight to 12 weeks, but it's about those longevity results. It's about also muscle growth. It's how much you can grow in increments of time without drugs and enhancements. So that's very important to consider as well. So why are programs so important and what should a program actually have inside? Depending on what your goals are, let's say your ultimate goal is to grow muscle, become more aesthetic and also more performance led. So with that in mind, your program, a very basic program should have the following. Number one, your workouts should not be changing every single week. Number two, you should be doing the same five foundational moves over and over and over again for the rest of your life. A squat is a squat. You only get better at it and you only lift heavier with it, but it's fundamentally a squat. Number three, there should be some form of unilateral movements. Single arm, single leg movements are so important for overall health, balance, and also aesthetics. Number four, isolations and accessories. Just because everyone preaches about compounds, it doesn't mean you also forget about your isolations. It is so important to target your bodies in different complexities and also functionally. So you have to encompass a 360 mentality to any program that you have. Number five, I think this is very important for you to know. Your program should be changing its rep ranges and its set bases over an incremental period of time. So you shouldn't just be doing the same three sets of 10 for an entirety of an eight week program. There should be flexibility to it. Maybe in the first two weeks you are doing 12 reps. Maybe in the next four weeks you are doing six reps. But there should be incremental changes and those changes need to be put in there mathematically and scientifically in order for you to push for change. So a great coach will know that if you are aiming for 
four to six reps, we're talking about strength. A great coach will know to then maybe focus more on your foundationals and hypertrophy. So they're gonna ask you to do much more reps at a lower weight. So just focus on all of these elements when you're opening up a program. Does my program have these things? And if it doesn't, change your coach, change your trainer, change your app. I can safely say on the Evolve You app, you don't have to worry about this. So all of my programs, especially strong, will have all of these factors in. So you never need to worry about it. You can trust me as your trainer, as your coach, as your friend, and you can just go into the gym and progress. Number two. I think number two is one that I really wish I knew sooner because now I know it, it's changed my whole perception of fitness. It's truly just understanding that no one is coming to do this for you. That means you cannot simply rely on motivation. You cannot simply rely on someone to just constantly be accountable to push you when you're not even accountable for yourself. So my question to you is, when is the last time you actually grounded yourself, you stopped for a second for your day-to-day -day intensity of your life and you went, why am I doing what I'm doing? And is this even serving me like why am i doing what i'm doing we spend such a long time trying to chase for the progress trying to chase for the aesthetic that we're not even realizing why we're even doing it in the first place you cannot expect other people to evolve and change and respect you or around you if you're not willing to do it for yourself and i'm sorry but that's the fundamental of it go and do this for yourself understand no one's coming so you need to pull up your socks and go do it a bit of harsh love but it's a reality motivation is going to come and go so consistency is going to be your absolute best friend there will be difficult days there will be difficult weeks trust me i had a whole difficult year of being in now hospital but it is not going to stop you it's the minute that you fully stop and you say never want to do this again that is when it all ends so you have to find something that you're truly passionate about you have to remember your why and you have to have fun doing it because you are going to be doing this for a lifetime and if you do not enjoy what you're doing now it needs to change because it will truly drain you and be the biggest downer in your life and it's going to affect you mentally. So reassess, write your why down for me, reassess your whole routine. Do I even enjoy what I'm doing? Maybe I don't like to go to the gym. Maybe I wanna try bar. Maybe I want to try something different. Give it a go. If that fire in your belly is telling you to go do it, go try it. Once you've listed those things, you can then make incremental changes to say, okay, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna go three days to the gym because that's what I can do instead of five days and pushing myself and making myself feel bad. So sit down, reassess, remember your why, and remember no one is coming to do it for you. Number three, please start tracking your weights. This is so important. We think that progress is made when you're stepping onto the scales and you're looking at the numbers and let's say it's not changed and then you're like, oh my gosh, it hasn't changed. I haven't changed, I've let myself down. And then it's like, wait, when's the last time you actually tracked your weights? Are you getting stronger? Or are you getting comfortable and then not pushing yourself to get stronger? So what I need you to do is track all of the weights that you are lifting. So let's take a squat. You're starting off at maybe 50% capacity. So let's say 40 kg. And you can lift around about, your program's told you to lift for 12 reps. So you're getting 40 kg at 12 reps in week one and two. If after 10 reps, you're getting a bit comfortable and those 12 reps do not feel like a challenge, it's time to up the weights. So then you add an extra 2.5 kg on it. Okay, now it's starting to feel a little bit heavier, but that's progression. That's where you make the changes. That's where you're pushing yourself, maybe not absolute failure, because I wouldn't recommend that, but you're, you're pushing yourself to failure. So those reps start to feel like a challenge and that's when you make the most progress. Progress happens when things get uncomfortable, when things become challenging. So I recommend tracking your weights. I recommend pushing yourself, pushing your boundaries. And also remember you have to focus on your form. So don't go too crazy. But if you can track it, you will then make the most progress by visually seeing, hey, on week one, I was on 40 kg, but then by week 10, I've now hit 60 kg. That progress is bigger than any number you're going to see on the scale. I promise you that. Number four is gonna be controversial, but hey, these are just my opinions. So take them with a pinch of salt. I firmly believe that when you look good, you feel good. And that is one of the reasons why I started Honor Active. 
because I genuinely could not find active wear that one fitted my body and two that actually made me feel like a badass in the gym. I want to look good. I want to train good. I want to feel good. Life is about joy. It's about you feeling good. So when people go, oh my God, the gym is not a fashion show. Number one, it does not affect you what I decide to wear. It doesn't affect anyone. So please wear what you want to wear and please do what you want to do. Your happiness is so important to you. So go and do it. But number two, I think we're missing the point that the reason people make an effort is because they want to feel good. They want to feel like they are worthy of feeling good and looking good. So I really recommend investing a little bit more time, getting yourself ready for the gym. And it is also a ritual. That whole process of putting on music, maybe putting on a bit of perfume because you want to, putting a cute active wear set on that fits your body and is the color that you love the most is going to mentally prepare you to celebrate your body. Because put it this way, if you are just putting on clothes you don't really like, clothes that don't make you feel good, and then you're driving to the gym or walking to the gym and you're just like listening to music that's not making you feel good. When you get to the gym, it's going to feel like a chore and it's something that you'll just have to tick off and you don't really wanna do it. But if you put a ritual to it and then you actually listen to music you like, put on active wear you love, that makes you feel empowered and strong, it's a celebration. It now becomes like a party. So when you're going out, you're wearing all those nice clothes, you go out, you feel good, you smell good, you act good. It's the same exact process. So why should we change that process just because we're going to the gym and everybody else has an opinion around us? So please start making a little bit more of an effort. It's going to change your mentality completely. And you're also, again, doing something for yourself. The final most important thing I'm gonna tell you is to rest. I never actually believed in resting. I thought that resting was like, oh my God, I'm not productive. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose my progress. I was the kind of girl that was like, if I have a week of the gym, I lose everything, I'm terrified. That will not happen, number one. I'm telling you now that will not happen. If anything, you're gonna come back more re-energized, refocused, and also much stronger. So when do I recommend you taking a rest? Number one, if you are sick, if you are not feeling well, if you are burnt out, take the rest you need. I promise you it's going to be your best friend for the future. But other moments I recommend taking a rest is when you're feeling really, 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 really unmotivated to the point where you see no purpose anymore. Take a week off the gym. That is exactly why on the Evolve You app, I have put deload weeks. You will get deload weeks every six to eight weeks, depending on which program you're on. And the reason I've put those deload weeks in is I don't want you to feel fatigued in the gym mentally and physically, where it becomes a chore, where it becomes too repetitive. So by pulling yourself out the equation, resetting, it's called a circuit break. So you're stopping, taking yourself out, reassessing things, you come back more ready and you actually come back more excited. So I would recommend those deload weeks and in those weeks, reassess your why, get your plan ready, go and do other active things that you've wanted to maybe try. Actually just sit and watch Netflix and enjoy it and not feel bad and just like be present with your family and friends and people you love and not worrying about going to the gym, which you never should do really because the gym is there to elevate your life, not consume it. But also it's a great opportunity for you to miss the gym. You wanna miss it slightly. That's when you know you really love something when you really miss it. So take a week, take two weeks however long you need. But remember, the aim of the game is to not stop. When I was in and out of hospital a year ago, honestly, I didn't realize how much my body needed rest, especially running companies and doing what I'm doing. I had burnt myself out from both ends of the candle and it got to the point where my fuse was so short, I was becoming not so nice to be around and I was becoming ultra difficult on myself and I doubted everything. And as a result, the gym became just another thing for me to do. It wasn't until I genuinely sat myself down and was like, Chrissy, what are you doing? You deserve to be happy, you deserve to rest, you deserve to actually be present. That's when I realized it's not that I hate the gym. I'm actually just really tired and burnt out. I love the gym. It's not until I did that, that I realized how much I loved my job and what I do and the people I work with. And that's why stopping and resting is so important to your overall progression and growth in life. So please, if you haven't done it in a while, take a break, rest, reset, come back stronger. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed this sit down. Let me know if any of the tips maybe spoke to you, maybe reassured you or 
even just reminded you that we're growing and we're learning and we're evolving and this is a lifetime this is a timeless journey that you are on and I'm just there to constantly remind you like your big sister you've got this and it's going to be hard at times but fundamentally you're going to be okay I promise you that you're going to be okay so let me know what you thought in the comments below make sure you leave a thumbs up it goes so far every time you show support in this channel it means it just helps us create better content for you me to grow the team meaning you can get more free fitness content and it also motivates me to do more content for you so show that love show creators your love it means a lot and remember i love you always and forever bye